somebody said the other night this sounded like uh, porn music. I don't know what kind of porn you've been watching, if this is what porn music sounds like to you. However, however, uh, welcome to the Jaffe stream. It's good to see you. It's good you're here. Uh, let me just get this set up and we will be off to the races, fellas. Fellas and Filettis. It is a late one tonight. <clears throat> but lately, because my schedule has been so fucked up, I like doing these things, <clears throat> excuse me, late. Um, yeah, it says, Kot says, what is this music? It's like Jaffe's about to date the chat. Um, yeah, I don't really get that. I don't really get that. I don't get why this is romantic music to you guys. I don't know what kind of music you put on when you're bumping and grinding, but I can assure you this is not, uh, this is not the choice for me by any means. It's a little too melancholy. It's almost like you would be having the sex and it would just be like so depressing. It's like, I mean, listen to this. How can you have sex with this? Listen to this. It's just like, uh, uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll, okay. I guess I'll go in now. I mean, really? I don't know. The point is it's, it's not what that is. So you play Barney. <laughs> Rob says he plays Barney during the sex. It's good to see everybody. How are you? Uh, it's me and, uh, we're going to be doing a stream tonight. We're going to be talking about, uh, a lot of weird shit tonight. I'm in a weird subject kind of mood. Um, I don't particularly know why. I think as I get older, I get weirder. I like things that are strange and bizarre. For example, for example, um, I found out today that there's a new criteria for getting COVID-19. Did you hear this? There's a new uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, fellas. There's a new, you know, checklist thing, item that if you're this, you're fucked. Okay. And that is being six feet tall. Okay. So first it was bald. And then it's overweight and then it's a guy. And now if you're six feet tall or taller, this is really fascinating actually, the reason why. If you're six feet tall or taller, you have double the chances of getting the coronavirus. Do you know why? This is pretty interesting because the other ones like male pattern baldness or you're overweight and so obviously you have a hard time breathing to begin with. Those are all these sort of physiological internal issues that you might be having with your body. Um, this, um, th John Johnson says, is that actually true? Because it sounds kind of dumb. It's absolutely true. Hello, child. How you doing? Wow. Hang on. I'm telling people something crucial. You want to come hang out? Okay. So it's absolutely true. And here's, here's what it is. It's because the virus is airborne. And the virus, what they thought for the longest time is that the virus only went out when you sneezed in droplets and slowly floated down to the ground. Now, what they're saying is the virus is light enough that when it comes out of your nose or comes out of your mouth, it floats. It's an extremely, it's an extremely small aerosol. Peter Pinto is absolutely right. And it floats in the air and if you, and it floats about six feet high. So they're saying if you are six feet or taller, you have a 50% or 2x chance of getting coronavirus. Fuck yeah. So you're five, good. Five, two, gang. You're good. I'm good. We're all good here at the Jaffe Homestead. But yeah, you got to be fucking careful. But it did. It did. It. Rob says he's fucked. I don't know how tall you are. Yeah. The silence says he should crouch and walk from now on. So here's, here's the thing. I was thinking about this. If somebody came to me and said, now I've never been a guy who's had a problem being, um, short. Oh, they say you have to be in the frame more. You want to come get in the frame I can't. here? Come on in there, Cal. 
This is the Cal. This is the Jaffian Cal yeah. show now. You all right? Well, we both have the same last name, so it's going to be the Jaffian. That's story. true. So, um, and you tell me what you think about this because I was thinking, if somebody came to me like science and they said, "Okay, you can trade," so. I'm five six. Although when I went to the doctor recently, they say I'm five five now. Yeah. Fuck you. Um, if I if they said okay, you know what? We will give you five inches. You can be five eleven, but you're gonna have a twenty percent chance of getting COVID. That sounds stupid. Then would you take it? No. You wouldn't increase your chances of getting COVID, but you could be taller. Well, how, how increase how tall? If you could be six feet tall, would you go, would you say I will take a 20% chance more of... Being six feet tall sounds kind of ass. Why? I don't know. I feel like getting... I don't know how tall that is, actually. Six feet tall is like a tall dude. Okay. Um, I don't want to be tall. I just want to be like at least average height. Okay. Average height for a man is 5'10". That's so tall. 5'10 is the average height. Um... I'm fucking five. And let me tell you something. Okay, so 616 says my dad was 5'6". I'm 5'11". My brother is 6'1". I told your mom. Yeah, goddamn. Yeah, no one in my family is tall for the most part. Um, but, okay, so here's what's interesting, too, about all this. Because I was, I, was, I was... One of the reasons guys want to be taller... I mean, do you know... You tell me, chat. You know, or do you, you know the reason most guys want to be taller? I don't know because it's seen as like masculine or something. It's shit. seen as ma well, here's the funny part. It's seen as masculine. Um it's seen as um oh you're a a, a a stronger, more dominant partner, blah, blah, blah. Here's what's fascinating, and science doesn't know why, okay? When you are Jacob says I'm a little close to the mic. How's that, Jacob? Is that feeling better for you, Jacob? This is very cool ASMR. Um, when you are, um, married, women prefer men that are taller than them. Okay. But when you are just dating and it's pure sexual, it's just a sexual relationship. Don't want to be dating. Huh? Don't want to be dating. Well, yeah, but if it's like a, a, a romantic thing and you're really serious, it's not purely sexual. I understand. But what I'm saying is science is they've, they've done studies on this and men and women marry offset heights, but they date for pure sexual gratification. The heights tend to be even. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? No one knows why. Science has no clue why that is, but it's true. It's absolutely true. Why is your fan rotate? I don't know. We're having a conversation. Okay, don't well, worry about it. Okay. Don't worry. Can I make it not rotate? No, it's perfect. No, it's not. Are you? Okay. Anyway, let me tell you something else about this. Frosty says it's because they don't want to keep craning up to kiss. That's a good, that's a good point. That's a good point. XZ3 says I want to be shorter. You would like to be short. I have never had a problem being a shortish guy. Um... I would suggest I would have a problem if I was like, you know, Lilliputian, like a fucking leprechaun. If I was like 5'1", I'd probably have a problem with it. But 5'6", doesn't bother me. 616 says, my buddy Vince is gay and he will not tolerate a man shorter than him. He hates that he's like that, but he says he can't do it. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, look, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta date the people you like. I mean, look, if, if... If you're not into him, there's nothing, no shame in that. At least, at least, at least your friend knows. Is it five, My son is five two. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Yeah. F uh, yes. He's fourteen. Hazard. Fuck you, motherfucker. Um. But yeah, I am five six. Although according to the doctor the other day, I'm five five five. Um. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. Listen, I want to tell you something else. This is kind of fascinating. So I'm looking up all this stuff about the coronavirus. And, you know, Apple's coming out with augmented reality. Oh, I'm sorry, Calvin. Are we boring you? Are we boring no. you? Are you all right? I'm fucking tired. Are you tired? You, what, what do you want to talk about? I was going to talk oh, about... No, I'm, I, I'm not bored. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, Calvin. What do you want to talk about? What is the 14-year-old zeitgeist into these days? What do you want to discuss with this great audience on the Jaffe Strait? I don't care. You, wow. So apathy. 
Apathy is what the kids are into today. Well, no, I just, I don't care. All right, let me ask you this. I'll come back to this augmented reality thing. Let me, let me tell you something. Today, a bunch of Taylor Swift fans got upset with a journalist at a, I think it's called Pitchfork. And this woman wrote a review of Taylor Swift's new album called Folklore, which I think is pretty good. And it was sitting at Metacritic of 90. And this woman gave it an 8 out of 10, 80%. It was a good review. Pitchfork is a real hard reviewer. She gave it an 8 out of 10. And all the Taylor Swifties have started doxing her, threatening her life, sending her pictures of her house like we know where you live, sending her pictures of her family. That's how upset the Taylor Swift fans are that her album, it wasn't even a bad review. Even if it was, it wouldn't matter. But they're that upset because... That's stupid. Right? I mean, I imagine these are kids, though, don't you think? Like, let me oh, ask yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, You're a big... It's probably on fucking Twitter. You're a big My Chemical Romance fan, right? Yeah. It's your favorite band. Mm -hmm. My Chemical Romance comes out with a new album, and let's say critics hate it, but you like it. Yeah. Do you care? No. Of course you don't care, because you're a logic, rational child. Why would you care if somebody else doesn't like it? I think it's because it's like a sports team. I was like this, believe it or not, your dad was not always perfect. I know you think I'm perfect because I'm your father. Wow, I sure do think that. Thanks, man. Wow. But, but, I was like that with Steven Spielberg when I was a kid. If Spielberg came out with the movie and the critics didn't like it, I took it as a personal affront to me. It's totally weird because I had all of my fucking, you know, self-esteem wrapped up in that. It's so dumb. It's so broken. My parents should have pulled me aside and said, hey, the fuck, right? But they didn't do it. They didn't know. If I talk to them, like, oh, I don't like my kind of that much. I'm like, okay, I don't care. You know? I know, but like, you're a healthy kid. You have good parents. Yeah, but, like, who... F gives a shit it doesn't make any sense to give a I shit. i think it's like a football team for them it's like they have so much identity wrapped up in being a taylor swift fan their friends think of them that way and all this stuff that if people start shitting on taylor Somebody swift i know that but i can't interrupt the chat if if, if, if if people start shitting all over taylor swift it almost feels like a personal attack to them i think that's what it is christopher gorley thank you so much for our super chat super chat of the night he says, here's $2 to celebrate how good uh, Taylor Swift's folklore is. It's a great album. It's a goddamn great album. Um, 616 says, when his favorite MMA fighters get knocked out, and he's legit crushed. I'm sad like I lost a fight. He says he can't explain it. When Auburn football loses, I'm a little depressed for a couple hours. I know. I don't think it's healthy. It's kind of weird. I don't think it's good. Um, but... Oh, no, doxing is different. I think 616 just saying he oh, gets... Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying. Like, but, but, but what about the fact that he says when, when one of his fighters gets knocked out, he gets crushed? Um, is that is he broken? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Yes, but you're on a stream, so you oh. can judge people. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I don't know because I don't know anything about MMA fighters. Okay, that's fair. Uh, MDP official says you, music is basically religion replacement for the young. I wonder if that's true. You got to live for something spiritual if it's misguided. Huh? Huh? Bukaki says, what's wrong with caring about stuff? Nothing's wrong with caring about stuff at all. Um, I guess it's just a question of when you're not in the ring, 616 is not in the ring fighting. So what are you identifying with that actually makes you feel sad and depressed that your fighter loses? I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, you know, it's not hell. I don't, it just seems weird to me. It seems weird to me. JC Jones says he could never relate to his brother's night getting ruined when a sports team lost. Yeah, I don't get it. Sky Jackson. Isn't that the girl from that, Jesse? Yeah, that was Zuri. Zuri from Jesse doxed minors. Yeah. Why would she do that to minors, to kids? Uh, yeah, because I guess they made a joke. Someone made a joke and it had the N word in it. It was guacam. They this listen, guacamole N word penis. Why would they say that? It's a meme. Okay, and Sky Jackson understandably got upset and she docks these kids. Um. Focus, Calvin. Sorry, I'm reading the chat. Focus, Calvin. Uh, I don't know. I'm not Sky Jackson, but um, 
Yeah, I guess she just doxed them or some shit. That's unfortunate. 616 says, here's an example for Calvin. I think Green Day was great. Yeah. Your shirt represents a great album. Oh, yeah, no, Father of All is so ass. But their last album was horrible. Were you a fan of it? Did the bad reviews annoy you at all? They did not annoy me. I, I, I just I didn't like it. I heard two songs from it. I didn't care for it either. I, I like one song on it, and it's Fire Ready Aim, and I like that one, but it doesn't sound very Green Day. Now listen. Listen to me. Um, I, okay, here's an uh, example. Okay, sorry. You didn't say anything. Anyway. It was a dramatic pause. I was shifting, you know, topics. Wow, too bad. Anyway. Because you can't stay on the same topic. The audience gets bored. They drop like fucking flies, man. Okay. I'm teaching you things. Wow. When you're older, you'll say, my papa. When I take over the Jaffa Stream, you Yeah, dead. that's yeah. right. You'll say, my papa taught me everything he knows. Great. About, yeah. <laughs> Go. What are you going to say? Go. Well, now I forgot. Oh, well. Sucks to be you. Now, what I was going to tell you guys. Oh, Lord, you know, look at this. You know what to do. I'm not talking about Twisted Metal tonight. I have no idea when I'm doing the Twisted Metal watch party. No clue. No clue. Um, Listen to me, though. You know you do. Listen to me. This is important. Apple, what do you mean let's talk about Billy Crystal? Did he die? Is he still around? Who's that? He's a famous actor, comedian. Oh. Um, Apple's coming out with augmented reality. Here's my whole point. Here's what I'm trying to communicate with you people. Um, they're the glass, you know what augmented reality is? It's glasses and you have like heads up display. Okay. It's going to absolutely change the world. Absolutely change the world. Um, what I'm about to propose is is where this thought process started. This is almost impossible because to have an electron microscope mounted to AR uh, electron microscopes cost anywhere from $350,000 dollars to a million dollars to get a top of the line one so it's not like you're going to be able to walk around yet and actually see viruses in the air yeah but imagine that one day we will that you'll be able to put on your ar glasses and you can see oh there's some covid oh there's the flu virus oh there's the, the common cold that looks like it would like that sounds like it would get in the way of like you walking it would but then you'd go oh sh-, you know you'd be able to avoid this shit yeah That'd be amazing. Yeah, it should be like transparent though, so you don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a guy with lab coat and a glasses figures that out. I'm talking about the essence, the idea. Yeah. Now, I mean, it's gonna change the world. It's gonna. It's like a black light in a hotel. That's right. It's gonna change the world. Um. Because, yeah, Pokemon Go with coronavirus. Because, yeah, you would never want to see bacteria crawling around you. It'd be disgusting. Oh yeah, I saw that. It would be disgusting. Yeah. Um. But it'll, it'll change the way we interact with people. It'll be like you, you walk up to somebody, their name will be above their head, the stuff they like will be above their head, what their family members' names. Do you like enter it like a dating bio? Like, like a, like a, it would be like if you're my contact. Or do, or do you know them and then it just fills out? Like. Yeah, you probably can do one of the, you can probably put yourself public or private, like Facebook. So if it's private, only your friends would know or people that you invite, right? Yeah. But I could see somebody and say, oh, it's Dan Cocteau Stone. And oh, yeah, how's Melissa and the boys doing? And he would be like. That's such a weird example. He would be like, he wouldn't. You do that now and someone's like, wow, Jaffe's really taking an interest in me and my life. And there's networking. Now it's just like, I'm just fucking reading this shit above your head. Yeah. It's going to totally change the way we interface with people. It's like kind of, what about things. sex offenders? Sex offenders would it'd be like the scarlet letter. Sex offenders would have to have like an S or some kind of indication while they're walking around. Yeah. That's amazing. It's going to change the world. It's going to change the world. Um, we would see Jaffe with a pizza stain on his shirt with the AR glasses. You don't need AR glasses to see the pizza stain. Um, your son is going to high school soon. That's true. I'm in high yeah, school. you're in high school. For me, it's a new era of fatherhood. You and I know what his experience will be. <laughs> no, I don't. At what point? This is the oddest thing, Joe. I okay. don't understand what the I, question I, is. Not, Calvin and I both, Joe, have no idea At what. At one point, have I gone too far? Did you kill someone? Yeah. What do you mean? Did you go too far? And I have Bro? no idea what his experience. Are you good? He was in high school last year, though. Um, and you liked it, right? It was yeah. good. Yeah. Because it wasn't like traditional. High school. Yeah. It's kind of a weird high school. There are a bunch of weirdos there in a good way. I mean, it's like a, it's like, it's like very self-regulated learning. Yeah. It's better than whatever the fuck. Probably one was. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, I, I've already been in high school. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It doesn't suck. Um, 
Cot says Calvin High School is going to suck. No, he's digging it so far, man. Yeah. I can tell you. Um, okay, I have to tell you something. God, you guys really didn't like high school, right? I didn't like middle school, but then I was like, maybe I should like not hate myself. And then so, <laughs> right. so here we are. Yeah, interesting. Listen to me. Listen to me. This happened in South America last week. Are you ready for this? Yeah. You ready to get fucking freaked out? Um, this woman, um, wakes, she goes, she goes to the hospital. She doesn't feel good and she passes out and the family comes to her later and says, Oh, we're sorry. She died. Okay. That's what the family knows. The family goes home. They're devastated. They're crying. They're mourning. This is the woman's experience. She goes, she's sick. She goes to the hospital. She passes out. She wakes up. It's absolute darkness. She, get buried alive. she did not get buried alive. She got put in a body bag, zipped up inside the body bag. She's in the fucking morgue. It's nighttime. No one's there. It's fucking freezing in the morgue. She doesn't know she's in a body bag. Does she think, is this death? Does she go, because you know, a lot of people's fear of death is that it's, it's going to be a black void, right? She might be going like, I wonder, I wonder, did she realize I'm in a body bag or did she go? Was she alive now or did she die? She's alive now. Oh. Someone should ask her. Did they, did she sue? I, they are suing the hospital. Yes. Um, but that led me, listen to this. This is terrifying. This is an 1850. There is a girl six to seven years old. They don't know exactly how old she was. She died of some disease. The family was wealthy. They put her in a fucking mausoleum. It's like a tomb yeah. where the body just lays out, right? And they close the big stone door for 15 years. Fifty. Well, that's what they do. You don't visit the bodies. The family's just interned. Well, she dead? She's dead. Oh, okay. Fifteen years later, another family member dies, so they open the mausoleum door to bury him or to put him on the slab. They put him on the slab, and do you know what they find crumpled by the door? What? The skeleton of the girl. She was not dead. The tomb is pitch black. So she wakes up six, seven years old and it's pitch black. She can't feel anything other than stone walls. And she probably lives for two weeks, screaming, starving, hallucinating, going mentally fucking bonkers until she passes away and dies. Isn't that the most terrifying fucking thing? It's kind of bad. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. Um, That's why they should have like, don't they have bells? Bells? They used to have bells. They They don't do it anymore. How long did they wait before they locked her in there? This was in 1850. She was, she basically had so little of a pulse back then they couldn't tell. And then they started doing all this weird shit. They'd start cutting your feet and sticking nails and stuff under your fingernails to see if you were actually dead. Why did um, they just, like, not do that? <laughs> like, I feel like what do you mean? Like a better way to do that. It's back then, back in the day. It's when they were bleeding you with leeches. I don't there. fucking know. Um, that's why when I die, it says, praise the sun. I want somebody to shoot my corpse in the brain so I don't wake up. Yeah. That's the way to do it. There was a guy who was spelunking and was trapped and died. Do you know? Do you know? Oh, this is horrifying. You know the way they used to torture people in the 1600s and kill them? They would dig a hole and they would put the bad guy in the hole face first. Huh? So dig a six foot hole. Yeah. But like a, you know, not very wide. And they would take him and put him upside down like he's standing on his head and put him in head first. So he's upside he's down. Alive. He's alive. Why? And then they would fill the hole in. So he would be upside down in a little narrow hole and suffocating. That's just gonna ask why it's horrifying. 
Horrifying. Um, my first roommate's brother says Chris was a coroner and he gave me a body bag. I thought I would be silly and sleep in it. I woke an hour later sweating to death. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, 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 would you sleep in a coffin? If somebody came to you and said... Yeah. I mean, if it didn't, if it was open. If you, no, no, if they guaranteed you, you wouldn't die. Oh, yeah. You had to spend the night six feet under, buried in a coffin. You could breathe. And it was a, it was a, a totally safe coffin. Like it wouldn't bend from Bugs the dirt. Get in. Bugs could not get in. Yeah. But you would spend the night in a coffin Where for a million dollars. Oh, yeah, 100%. I would do it for $100. You would do it. Oh, I wouldn't. The claustrophobia would fucking kill me. I mean, would I, fucking kill me. Could I have like a air conditioning? No, and you couldn't have your iPhone. Well, you couldn't have any of that. Fine. Why would you be asleep? 24 hours you got to be oh, in there. you said sleep in a coffin. No, 24 hours in the coffin. Well, I'd, be, what if, I'd get hungry. Well, you can live You can live without a day of food. Yeah, but it'd be annoying. All right. I mean, I would do it, but it, like... You know, you know how many people in this country are in solitary confinement at any given moment? Lots of them. What? Sol- it's either. something in prison. They put you in this little fucking room. It's horrible. Um, if yeah, if you have to pee, you pee all over yourself. John Johnson says we'll twenty four. Diaper in the coffin. Yeah, John John says twenty four hours is too long. It's my fucking contest. It's my fucking million dollars. Well, no, overnight's not a better idea, XZ, because then you just sleep through it. It's got to be something where it drives you almost crazy, and then you're willing to put up with the madness. That's all I'm fucking saying. Right, you could probably just like space out. There. You guys want to hear really something really fucking nasty? Not really. What is it? Okay. Listen, this is great. This is great. Um, do you know how people wiped their butts in ancient Rome? I saw you roll your eyes there. Did you roll your eyes? No. I just... Come on now. This is fascinating. This is. Okay, well, there's two ways. There was the rich way, if you had a lot of money, and then there was the common way, okay? Um, hang on, let me, let me, let me see this. Uh, okay. Oh, Jacob, shut the fuck up. Jacob's like, now the mic's too far. Oh, sorry, Jacob. Is it, are, we, are we sufficiently, you know, recording for you now? Is this better? This Jacob fell, I'll tell you. Listen to me. They did not use leaves. No, they didn't. No, Jack Crispy. That's a name, Jack Crispy. No, Rob. Here's how the rich folks did it. Uh, they had shared bathrooms, and they had a stick or a piece of ivory, and on the end, on the end Uh, They had a sea sponge, like a sponge, right? And they wiped their butt with this thing, this sea sponge. And then they dipped the sponge in the water below or in a separate clean tub of water that had water and vinegar to clean it off. So the whole family and people who came over to the home shared the same sea sponge device to wipe their buttoxes. Why didn't they just use like paper? They didn't have, I don't know. Um, I don't know. But here's how the peasants wipe their butts. With shells and shards of smooth pottery. Okay, but why didn't they use like water? I don't know. I'm just telling you, this is a story on the internet. I can even show you no, people sorry. a picture on a piece of pottery of, of somebody wiping their butt with a seashell. Um, I wonder how bad it smelled back then. Like if you were to go back in time to the Old West or ancient Rome, would people just smell like shit yeah, but you constantly? Wouldn't notice because it would be normal. Oh my God, you wouldn't notice? I, I, uh, uh. You wouldn't notice because you would smell like it too. So. Oh God. Just like y- if, you live in, if you live in like a house and it smells like complete ass, you don't notice because you live there, so it's normal. So you think if you went back in time, it would smell terrible to you? It would smell terrible until I got used to it. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm going to show these people the picture of the piece of pottery. Hang on a second. I will show you. This is the picture of the guy wiping his tush. Wow. 
This is such a cool picture. You know what, Calvin? You little smartass. Hang on. Can they see it? Not yet. Oh. Not yet. Why isn't it coming up, though? Rob the Mod says, no, dude, wants to see your poop pottery, Papa Jaffe. I want to show you the picture. Well, where is it? It's supposed to be right here. What's going on with her? Oh, there, there, there. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him wiping his butt with the seashell. Wow. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. That's normal for him. That's what he does. That's what he does with his days. No one brushed his teeth either? Jesus fucking Christ, you guys. I'm not going back in time. Wow. I give up. When you had the opportunity to, you know. Yeah. I did have the opportunity once. You don't know, Calvin. Um, in old Britain, they used to empty all their chamber pots in the street. Oh, my God. People are gross. I hate people. I hate people. Yeah, people. They're kind of nasty. Um, I'm not reading that with Calvin in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to tell you something. This is terrible. This is terrible. I have to tell you a story. Uh, this is such a cool story. It happened in Ohio yesterday, okay? Um, this guy... Uh, Came home from work, I guess, or I don't know. Yeah, he came home from work. He worked down the road. Small little house. He had a wife who's 34 years old, a 13-year-old, an 11-year-old, and a 6-year-old, and a dog. Neighbors said, oh, we thought they were playing with fireworks in the backyard because we heard running and screaming. Um... The father took a gun and chased his family around the house and shot every single one of them to death, shot the dog, shot himself. Why? Well, first off, put yourself in the shoes of those fucking kids. Put yourself in the shoes of a 10-year-old kid who is watching as his own father chases his family members around the fucking house and shoots them. That's horror movie shit, man. I mean, that's I mean, uh, terrifying. Dad was sus before. I don't know if he was. They don't... Well, then I looked this up because I was curious about why... Because this happens often enough to be a thing. It's called family side is what it's called. Um, when one of the adults kills the spouse and kills the kids. And I was like, well, why does this happen? What causes this? Um, and, uh, this is so, you know, uh, this is so awful to say about a lot of men, but a lot of men are a fucking bunch of fragile fucking babies. Um, that's just the God is honest truth. And I'd be curious if anybody watching this identifies as one of those kind of men, because here's what they say happens a lot of times. Well, you, a guy loses his job or the wife starts to say she might want to leave the marriage and everything that guy is, all of his masculinity is built into these societal standards. You're the head of the house or you're the breadwinner. All this fucking bullshit capitalistic societally put upon men to say this is what a man does and apparently when that shit goes a lot not a lot but certain men can't fucking handle it and their whole identity just collapses so a number of these men have not been abusive some of them have but a number of them have not been abusive before this um and they just fucking snap just utterly terrifying. Yeah. yeah, Rob says get a new job. I'm with you, Rob. I don't understand it. You but I shouldn't get married, I think. You don't believe in marriage, Calvin? I think it's stupid. Unless it's for like benefits, but like for love, that's so dumb. Why is getting married for love dumb, Calvin? Because you have to pay to break, at least legally married. If you get like married by like the law or whatever, 
um, first of all, you're gonna have to pay to break up with them, and it's so much of a bigger deal, and it's looked down upon, and it's so much work. Like, you can, like, just say you're married, but I don't even see the point of marriage, just date someone, you know? Like, what's the point of actually getting married? I don't disagree with you, by the way. I think marriage is a scam, like Rob says. I think, um, uh, I think, uh, weddings, weddings cost insane amounts of money that the, they don't even look fun. Well, I don't think they're fun, but some people like them, but it's, it's all, uh, uh, just a bunch of marketing bullshit. Yes. I, I agree with you a hundred percent. And you pay for like a million dollars for like a fucking piece of like jewelry. It's like, just get one from the Halloween store. Yeah, it's dumb. It's absolutely dumb. You're wise beyond your years, Calvin. 616 says Chris Benoit suffocated his wife and son. He stayed in the house for two days and no showed the WWE show he was on. Oh, was he a wrestler? He texted friends that the dogs were locked up and he hung himself. Jesus fucking Christ. I wonder if he had brain damage from wrestling. There was no reason given. My grandpa flipped out in the 70s, says Chris, after rolling the gas truck he was driving. He comes home, slams a hatchet into your grandma's forehead while she slept on the couch. Damn. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your grandpa flipped out. He rolled the gas truck. Did he come home right after or did he have some accident 20 years before? And after the accident, he's always had, he wasn't right in the head. Jesus Christ, man. That's something. Fucking slant. I assume he killed her. So the wrestler had massive, uh, that CT is that concussion thing going on. Um, Why is this person that says Clavin? <laughs> oh, Clavin? Clavin. Um, you know I do says all college gets you as debt. I don't oh, think, yeah. we're not pushing our kids to go to college. If they want to go to college, they can. I don't think I'd ever want to go to college. But neither one of them is currently like jazzed to go to some kind of four-year university at and the if moment. if I did go to a university, I would get a job first so I could work out money so I didn't, that be in fucking debt. Um, so a lot of people think you have to like get into college right after high school, which is stupid. And I don't know why people think that because you can go into college if you're fucking like 90, it doesn't matter as long as you can like, you know, going to college when you're older makes more sense anyway. I mean, you're, you're ready to learn. A lot of kids go to school. They're not interested in really getting an education. They just want to have fun, which is fine. Jacob says everyone should go to school, especially, <laughs> especially you, Jacob. What kind of school should they go to, Jacob? Do you mean college? Yeah, I agree. Getting an axe in the head is not a guaranteed death sentence. She could have survived. Um, companies are moving towards certifications and forgetting about degrees, of course. Deg degree, I mean, again, certain, certain jobs you absolutely want to have a degree for, but a lot of them you don't. A lot of them you absolutely don't. Um, most people end up going to college to find out what they don't want to do. That's probably, it's a good point, a Frosty. A lot of people just get pushed by their parents to, like, do some fucking, like, math shit. I don't fucking know. It's weird. People, literally, I've known people who are like, if I don't go to college, my parents are going to, like, disown me. And it's like, bro, the fuck? Cringe? It's very weird. Kids, kids today are weird. Um, listen to me. Listen to me. Wait. XZ3 says, I feel like I'm a pretty good description of a really sensitive man. It's always bothered me. It's interesting you bring that up. Likely it's the reason I'm here. I don't understand what you're talking about. Yeah. I understand the sensitive man part, but what do you mean likely it's the reason you are here? Um, okay, so Chris goes back to his story. After attacking his grandma with the hatchet, he tried to strangle your mom as she slept, then took a razor to his throat. He failed to kill anyone. And that's why you're there. Damn. So... Was flipping the truck the thing that made him go insane? He was driving a truck and the truck like flipped. Oh. And I'm saying, did he get brain damage? Or like, what's the correlation between the truck and him losing his shit? That's horrific. Your mom must have some severe post-traumatic stress. Um, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, man. Um... Let me ask you a question. If you had to fall, these are things that interest me, Calvin. I don't know why. I don't know why. If you had to fall from a skyscraper or jump out of a plane without a parachute, what is the one thing you would want to do before you jumped 
to improve your chances of survival. Get a parachute. No, you can't bring anything with you. It's something you have to do on the roof or in the plane before or before you take off before you leap. Um, do you know? Get drunk because I heard yes. Yes, get drunk. That's right. Science shows. This is just fascinating to because me. Because you're less tense. And you're... It's exactly right. You're less tense. So if you hit the ground, you'll probably still die. But, but you won't be as tensed up. And your chances of hitting and... Huh? You could also work if, you got high. if you're just... Or if you're just meditating on the way down. Maybe uh-huh. you're just totally relaxed, you know? Um... XZ says, talking about being a sensitive man, he says, there isn't much context. I guess I could have left that part out. All The reason I ask XZ is I was talking to a friend of mine today, <laughs> Calvin's, Cal, I'm not going to, we're, we're not going to share, I'm not going to share that conversation. Anyway, but I was talking to somebody today and um, I said to her, I said, I don't relate to a lot of traditional guys. Um, and so when you identify as a sensitive man, I would say I'm more of a sensitive guy than a traditional kind of guy guy. I don't get guy guys. That's just the goddamn honest truth. Um, I don't get them. I don't really fucking like them. Huh? Yeah. The kind of, so weird. Well, I don't, how do you feel about it? Yeah. I wouldn't interact with them. Uh, I mean, I don't want to be judgy. Maybe they're good people. I just can't I'm connect with them. Okay, you be judgy. <laughs> I, to be fair, I don't really like any, like, hyper masculine people because I don't know. I don't really can't really relate to them, and they're usually like, I don't know, they're weird. They're weird. Okay. They're weird, okay. Okay. And I don't like them. Frosty says I don't think there's a traditional guy. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. You know, you know the stereotypical. Yeah, that's the kind of guy that I, I don't I don't I don't vibe with that. It just feels weird to me. Um like I don't feel they're being genuine. Um I feel that they're putting on a, a show. There's a video of a Russian guy jumping out a three story window <laughs> multiple times. Well, okay, so this other thing that I was looking at, um uh was this guy who jumped off a seven story garage and he said he what i'm kidding <laughs> just kidding and he said uh he wanted to kill himself and they says well why did you want to kill yourself are you depressed he says no um i'm just bored of life and i wanted to see what was on the other side so he survived we broke every fucking bone in his body but he survived, um, and I guess now he wants to live, which I guess is a good thing. Um, 616 says, my brother's into cars, guns, and fishing. I'm a writer, painter, and YouTuber. I think it's clear that we took different paths. I bust his balls about some of the overly masculine stuff. He says, what is the masculine stuff that your uh, that your brother says? Like, no one in my family is, is super fucking masculine no i mean they're not i mean your pa wasn't your uncle i mean your uncle probably is more masculine than i am he fixes shit and does all kinds of stuff like that but yeah no (laughs) absolutely um they say bridge jumpers change their mind the minute they jump how do they know that how do they know that i don't understand listen to this Listen to that. Yeah, could be that. Could be that. Um, you'll kill spiders with no fear. Well, that's good. I feel bad when I kill bugs. I won't kill bugs. I won't. I'll I won't kill bugs. And sometimes on purpose, and I feel bad every time. Okay. Yeah. I. 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 I, I do kill them sometimes because certain ones gross me out, but then I feel really shitty. Yeah, because you just ended some. Yeah, you've life force like. That's right. Imagine like you're just chilling and then some like big ass fucking like giant is like, ew, you're gross and fucking kills you. Like that just. It's horrible. First of all, you're getting killed because you're ugly. Like. You're saying the bug is ugly? Yes. 
Bugs are very ugly, I think. Most of them. Okay. And people are, people are like, ew, it's gross. Like, imagine, like, someone's like, you fucking gross. Just, and then just fucking... They killed you? you. Yeah. They just shoot you in the head because you're, you're, you, you're gross. Human people... human Humans are cruel people. I know that's a terrible thing to say to your yeah. child. No, it, I, I know. Just, you know. Um, I get mad at people killed. Cot says, I remember there was a brutal video. A dude jumps into a river, but his hits his face on a rock. Um, holy shit. Yeah, that sounds bad. Do you think guys who bury emotions don't live as long? They probably do die of heart attacks and stress-related physiological conditions. But again, I don't understand that. Why would you want to bury your emotions? That's the kind of shit I can't relate to. I know you mock me all the time because I cry all the time at movies and shit. But... Um, I'm an emotional guy. I like having emotions. Why would you? I mean, I don't even understand the idea of bearing your emotions. Like, so you walk around all goddamn day and things bother you and upset you and hurt your feelings and you just take that shit and shove it in a fucking internal hole? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That seems horrible. That seems well, fucking horrible. It's not masculine, which is really fucking stupid. What's not masculine? Emotions. Emotions, okay. And then, so they're like, oh, guess I don't want to be fucking, like, gay or something. So let me, like, uh, I guess no emotion. Ha, epic. Oh, it's so disgusting. It's the, ma yeah, Drunken says it's the masculine oh, yeah. propaganda. Fuck that. Totally fuck that shit. Mike, I, go I'm ahead. I'm not an emotional person. Like, I'm, I haven't cried in, like, a year or more but like that's not, i'm not bottling anything i just you know you're more yeah you're more chill about a lot of things yeah. you know but like the people who bottle it they're just gonna like hate first of all they're probably gonna hate themselves um they're definitely not gonna go to fucking therapy which people need to go to fucking therapy i don't care if you don't like have a mental illness you should go to therapy you should like at least once a year like a doctor's checkup you should go to therapy like once a year but uh the, the 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 people who bottle it it'll just come out some weird fucking way you know yeah i think so um jack crispy says we've lost the family structure in america each gender needs roles i don't know what that means each gender needs roles what do you mean by that hazard says it's society making men feel like they can't express everything yeah but you know get over it get the fuck over it where where are you know the parents of these fucking kids. They're probably the ones who told them. Well, who tells a kid that you shouldn't, if you're a guy, you, know you shouldn't. Grandpa? I do know grandpa. I'm familiar with him. You know, when he, he, I think it was grandpa, his brother died and his parents were like, okay, forget. That was like Midwest in the 1950s. I'm talking about today. Oh, Dell the Gamer says, bearing your emotions is called not being a crybaby. Just get over it. It's life. It, Dell the Gamer. Life, then you wouldn't feel emotion. You're a moron, Dell. I love you, but you're a fucking moron. Um, Jack says, men have to be tough to protect, and women have to be nurturing to maintain the family infrastructure. Is he kidding? I don't know if he's kidding or not. I don't know if he's kidding or not. We're not living in a fucking cave where we need somebody to protect against the fucking saber-toothed tiger. Because you can protect someone if you're crying. Yeah, well, yeah, why can't you be emotional and still protect somebody? Um, I agree, Drunken. I feel like the uh, family sides or whatever it's called is from the emotional bearing. I think that's a good point. Um, top, oh, it's because top chats. Hang on, let me get your let me get full chat on. Sorry about that, fellas. Okay, live chat should be on now. Um, the education ripple. The fathers raised them not to cry. I don't understand it, though. I don't understand it. Oh, gosh, shut up, Bukaki. Bukaki says, the only emotions I have are hunger, anger, and horny because I'm a real <laughs> man. Yeah, I, I'm sure that's true. Um, I don't even know how to express emotions because I'm used to keeping everything inside. Are you serious, Edward Torres? You don't even know how to express emotions? Holy cow. Holy cow. Well, you need to go to a doctor, man. Therapist. Therapist. Go to a fucking therapist. Get that shit up and out. It's not good for you. Well, um, I think the, the 1950s fuckers who were raised like that raised their children like that. If, if, if they don't get therapy, then they're just, and they, they don't see an issue with it because that's how they were raised. They're going to keep raising each generation. Yes. So one of them re breaks the chain and realizes that that's yes. stupid. Cod says, we're reading them like a book. You'll be the only book Calvin's read all year. Thing is, I don't enjoy it at all. My mood actually flips suddenly. 
You don't like that we're talking about this cut? Sorry. That's what we do here on the Jaffy stream. Cooper says, girlfriends have always hated when I've shown emotion, so I almost never beat them now. Oh, you're horrible. 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 Um, but uh, is live chat is on now. Yes, it's, it, should, it should be working now. All I'm saying, fellas, is I can't relate. Um, and I don't want, I, I got to be honest, I don't particularly like guys like that. I don't mean if I met like Cotton in real life, I wouldn't like him or any of you people in the chat, I wouldn't like you. But I don't relate. I don't relate to it. I don't want to, that's the thing. It's like, I remember a lot of times when these guys were little, I would have to go out to the park and shit and there'd be other dads there and you couldn't relate to these other fucking dads. You'd want to have a real conversation about something. And it was also fucking surface about the game last night or the stock market. And I was just like, I, I love taking my kids to the park when they were little, but when other dads were there, it was so painful. Drunk says, David, why is your kid so smart and mature? All the kids his age I went to school with were, I won't say that word in that way, but why do you, are you think you're mature for your age? I don't know. Um, he don't know. I've been told, but like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. He's got an amazing father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And a, and a good mom, a great mom. Um... A lot of it's location and culture. Men are typically more masculine as a whole in the Midwest and in the South. Well, I was raised in the South, electric lettuce, but sure, I could see that. Um, you know, you do was raised by foster parents that would yell at him when he cried and threaten him. Jesus, man. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of the, uh, people have parents and the, the kids would be crying. It's like, I'll give you something to cry about. And fucking like... Yeah, I saw I saw it 616 about African-Americans it being more prevalent in that society or in African-American culture that showing emotion even there is even more looked down upon. Do um, fun dad hang out with? No, I think Trump would hate crime me. Cr- do you think Trump what? Where are you reading? Do you think Trump would be a fun guy? Oh God, fuck <laughs> Trump. Um, all, he would forget everything you're saying every two seconds because he has fucking dementia. Um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's what's happening. Let me tell you one more thing about fathers and then we'll get off this subject. This guy, this is amazing. This is amazing. I already talked about waking up in a body bag. You missed it. It was at the top of the string. Stream. This guy, this father, um, uh, isn't he great? I, I, Ionic says, it's really cool to see you with your son. He's the best. He's the bee's knees. I'm not talking about you. I thought he was talking about my other son. <laughs> he loves my jokes. He like yeah, he's um so listen to me. Listen to me. Um Oh, we'll talk about Hitler in a minute. Uh most people experience abuse. Do you think any form of being soft would make their kids weak, says running white wind? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Jaffe will sing men crying about everything help satisfy your no emotions problem. I just I you know what it would just be nice to have men in our culture that aren't such fucking meathead mouth breathing knuckle draggers and actually that where they have pride in that. It's okay to be masculine, but it's also okay to be comfortable with the fact that you don't always have to have your fucking guard up is all I'm saying. It, it's, it's a very, unco- if, if you're not like that and I'm not like that, you have a very hard time relating uh, to other men. You feel that they are just not um, engaging humans, you know? Um, I keep seeing your ex-wife whenever I look at your son. How do you know my ex-wife from the vid- from the video? Um, okay, listen to me. Listen to me. Um, um, hang on. When I was a kid and cried over dumb shit, my dad would take off his belt and say, I'll give you a reason to cry. He did not. He did not. Um, Well, some people actually. Yeah, but I don't. Bukaki's full of shit. Bukaki's full of shit. Um, Listen to me. This kid is seven years old and his father dies. Damn. Yeah. His father... um, dies in the hospital the kid thought the dad was going to get better the dad never got any better 
the nurse comes up to the kid afterwards and says, your dad knew he was going to die. He wanted me to give you this. Um, it's a shoebox. And in the shoebox are about 25 letters. This is a true story. You can read about it and see pictures of it online. 25 letters for his son. And it says things like, when you have your first kiss, when you fall in love, this is for when you get fired from your first job. It's all the advice that the dad wants to tell the son, but he won't be able to because he won't be there. Because he's dead, right? And this happened a long time ago because... um, when this guy, the kid, died, there was a last letter that said, when you were on your deathbed. Now, I thought this was a Snopes bullshit thing that I had to look up to see if it was true. And it's true. It's absolutely true. And so this guy's on his deathbed at 70 years old, and he opens up the last letter, and the dad's just like, I'm, I'm, I've missed you so much. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you had a great life. And this fucking thing happened. Imagine, though, if the dad was just this racist piece of shit and every letter he opened up for the next 50, 60 years was just like, don't you hate this race or don't you hate this religion? I mean, it'd be horrible. It's like, when you have, you, it's, it's just homophobic. It's like, when you have your first kiss, you better a girl fucking. Oh, well, no, one, 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 of, one, of, the, one of the envelopes did say, um, when you realize you're gay and then he opened it and he said, I'm glad I'm dead. And then he said, I'm just kidding. I don't care what you are. I love you. I hope you go have a good life. But it was pretty funny. Um, no. Oh, oh, hang on. Okay. Knox says I played with Barbies. I needed things for my GI Joes to bang after their missions. Let me tell you something. Let me fucking tell you something. Okay. Uh, and Calvin doesn't know this and I'm not ashamed to goddamn admit it. I played with G.I. Joes when I was a kid. I played with Spider-Man. I played with the Hulk. You know what else I played with? Charlie's Angels. I played with uh, Bionic Woman dolls. Absolutely, I did. Let me tell you something else I did when I was a kid. I dressed up as Spider-Man. I dressed up as Batman. I dressed up as Superman. Guess what? I dressed up as Wonder Woman. I had a Wonder Woman costume. I did. I thought she was cool. So I dressed up as Wonder Woman. Um... I don't care. I just played with fucking Monster High Dolls. You played with Monster High Dolls. That's true. Monster High Dolls, they, they, they slapped and then they fucking changed them. Now they're lame. I know. They're, they were pretty cool. They were pretty cool. They get styles. Yeah. Calvin looks dead inside right yeah. now. Nah, I don't know. Are you dead inside right now? No, but I'm looking over there. What's over there? I, I'm trying to see me, so I'm not, I don't look like I'm fucking like dying. I, I guess I do actually. No, nah, you're good. You're but, good. Uh, I'm looking over there and also there. Don't, don't, don't let him fuck with you. Don't let Cot fuck with you. Well, I don't really care. Um, you should dress up as Wonder Woman. <laughs> I don't think so. Monster High, though, man. Monster High slapped so fucking hard. Monster man. High used to be fucking really cool. The designs of those dolls were awesome. Very creative, very weird, very stylish. Apparently, though, I think they got like banned or something like the original design because they promoted anorexia or something. Because they were just very skinny. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, that's like most dolls, though, so. Anyway, the point is, so the dad wrote the fucking letters. There you go. He wrote the letters. Let's talk about Hitler. Oh, then. Um, we all joke around with one. Okay, look. You had an Easy Bake Oven? Never had an Easy Bake Oven. Uh, I always wanted one, though. Um... Wait, running, I, I, I had the Michael Keaton Batman playing with his girl with Barbie, first kiss. All I'm saying, is it more likely more harmful not backing your kid up? Uh-huh. I don't understand. Um, I do remember, Rob, we played the game Monster Prom. You, me, and, uh, 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 what the guy's name? The guy's name, um, our Discord buddy, I forget his name. Um... I remember hearing about that. Parents complained about Monster High dolls being too revealing. They were, I mean, they were pretty, you know, um, you know, shapely, you know. <laughs> Bukaki gives us $2. Uh, 
He says, I cried when I saw the PS5 logo <laughs> unveiled. You know what? We should go out and spend Bukaki's $2 tonight at Jack in the Box. They're the only ones that are open. We're going to go buy some fun. What are we going to get? Tanner something. No. Tanner never brings you anything. He brought us beans one time. And somebody stole them. Yeah. So, no. What? I played with Cabbage Patch dolls as a kid. I grew up with two. Thank you, Bukaki. Appreciate it, man. Uh, was was wasn't about what was for boys and what was for girls. No, you just play with toys that are cool. You play with toys that are cool. Yeah. Um, dude, I had an Easy Bake Oven. I painted my fingernails to be like my favorite wrestler, Jeff Hardy. I did a lot of stuff. My parents thought I was gay when I was twelve. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Um, yeah, Running Wild says like a dad getting bent out of shape for seeing his son play with the Barbie. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Some sort of pansy. Short of, 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 you know what would bother me? If my kids were mean to people, I would be incredibly disappointed and upset with them. Short of that, they're your fucking kids, man. I don't understand these parents that do that. Who gives a shit what toys your kids are fucking playing with? Jesus fucking Christ, man. I mean to my friends in a friendly way. What? I'm what just, the fuck are you talking about? You said if my kids were mean to me. I mean, oh but yeah, but oh, yeah, but you're because you tease though. Yeah. That's different. That's different. Um, I had a popple. I don't know what that is. I feel like um, you know you do says I'm bi, but I'm more gay. Great. Um, Captain Gibbon says Jaffy Jack in the box fun. Thanks for the two bucks, well, pal. Give it Tanner. No, you can, no. You ask, what who gives a shit if he asks? I'm gonna go buy myself also, because I. Uh, Alex made him a bracelet, and uh, I, I want to give it to him. Yeah, no. All right. No. We're going to go buy, um, we're going to go buy a, a grilled cheese sandwich and french fries and shit and a shake. Okay. I don't know what we're going to buy. But thank you guys for the money. I appreciate it. Um, there it is. Captain Gibbons right up on the screen. Tanner gets, no <laughs> Tanner gets nothing. That's right. Um, okay, listen to me. Listen to me. Um, listen to me. Hang on. I got a, do you know what comics gate is? No. You ever heard of gamer gate? No. Okay. I got a, a, t uh, pizza. there might be a little piece in the fridge left. I got a Twitter the other night, maybe last night. Um, and it says to me, it says, Hey Jaffe, can we make a twisted metal comic book um and i don't know who this person is so i click um on the dude's profile on twitter and he's a comics gate supporter if you don't know comics gate it's you know it's a lot of people will tell you it's a hate group the the the, the official Word is they don't like the quote forced diversification happening in mainstream comics and that's fine. They have that right. So they've gone off and made their own comics, but there's a lot of shit that they do where they really kind of, you know, come after traditional comic writers and women in comics. And I decided not to respond because I didn't want to get into a whole brouhaha, but I was just like, what in the world have I done? What in the world have I put out into the universe to make anybody who's into comics gate think I would be interested in having a conversation with them or working with them at all? I hate that there are people who think that sort of thing. Um, my uncle saw me talking to a black girl when he peeked at my phone and he said, you better not be thinking of dating a black girl. Oh my God. And when I asked why not, he said, you deserve a beautiful girl. Bruh. The fuck is wrong with your uncle? What did you say? The fuck? <laughs> Shut up, Bukaki. What did you say? What an asshole. No offense. Is your uncle at home? Put him on the fucking phone. I want to talk to him. Jesus Christ, man. That's so awful. How are we living in this world? How are we living in 2020? And people think this shit. How old are you? Yeah, how old's your fucking uncle, man? Um, that's terrible. Absolutely horrible. People do that shit. Calvin, I asked you this this morning. You seem to know. I was bothered that people knew this. I didn't know this. I didn't know this. They haven't found Hitler's oh, body. Yeah. 
They haven't found Hitler's body. Now, let me tell you something. This is kind of fascinating. There's conspiracy that says Hitler's body was never found. I don't know if that's true, but the skull fragment with the bullet hole in it that the Soviet Union promised was Hitler's. In 2009, American scientists got a hold of that skull fragment. They did carbon dating, DNA testing. They said, no, this is from a woman under the age of 40. They said, oh, is it Eva Braun, who was his wife at the time, uh, who also uh, died, apparently, in April with Hitler. And they says, no, because she didn't die from a bullet hole. She apparently died from a cyanide capsule. Hitler was the one that shot him in the fucking head. Shot himself in the fucking head. Um, so it's this big thing now about did Hitler really die in April 1945 in front of his fucking little fort? Or did he go to Antarctica? Did he go to South America? Um, we don't have Bin Laden's body either. We don't have any. I mean, it's really fucking true. It's really fucking true. It's a little fucking weird. Um, so I didn't know that Hitler was missing. Um, I thought it was for sure he killed himself and Eva Braun killed herself and that was it and it was never a question. But you know what the Soviets said they did to Hitler's body? Soviet, this, this, is, this is the weirdest part. This is the weirdest part. The Soviets claim, no, we had Hitler's body. We dug it up um, from the pit they burned it in. And it got moved around Russia numerous times until finally Russia said, look, I want, they got, this is like, they should make a movie about this. They got three guys to take the bodies of Eva Braun and Hitler into the woods, mountains of Russia. They burned the bodies more and they pulverized them with rocks into dust. They took the dust and they won't say where because they don't want it to become a neo-Nazi site into the mountains of Russia. Two of the guys that went are dead. They've never revealed where it is. There's only one guy left alive, and he says he will never say where they did it, but they took the ashes and the dust of Hitler's pulverized corpse, and they brought it to a mountaintop, and they let it go, and the wind carried away Adolf Hitler's body into the fucking ether, like fucking Minecraft, you know, blocks, basically. It is. Think about that. Think about this monster that was Hitler. I mean, what they should have done, what they should have done, um, they should have taken that ash, put it in little pills, and given it to all the surviving Jews of the Holocaust so they could take the pills and shit them out. And then Hitler would have been basically in their bowel movements. And then they would have flushed Hitler down the fucking toilet. The idea that Hitler, this madman, this crazy motherfucker, got to basically be ground up into dust and sent off into the wind like some kind of dramatic, peaceful send-off. Um, I was kind of crazy. It's a little fucking crazy. You'd expect more. You'd expect them to do more. Um... But who knows? They didn't. They didn't find. Bin, they don't have Bin Laden's body either. You really believe the Bin Laden story? The what? Uh, Osama Bin Laden, who was responsible for leading the attacks on 9/11. They sent a SEAL team in to Abu Dhabi. I don't know how to say it. They. It was a compound he was hiding in in Afghanistan. They shot him in the head. They say they took his body. They were worried about. Um, showing pictures so no one's ever seen pictures except people in the government and they didn't want to bury the body because they were worried about it becoming a martyr site so they took it out into the ocean and they dropped it in the ocean so no one has seen the body in a picture they haven't there's no there is no body remains it's in the ocean somewhere it just makes me wonder it's a little fucking coincidental it's a little fucking coincidental um that's all I'm saying. Um, now, cloning Hitler. People in the chat are talking about cloning Hitler. Um, let me ask you this. Okay, let's just say they cloned Hitler. He wouldn't have the same personality. Right. So let's say they cloned Hitler. 
Clone him today. Some crazy scientist clones Hitler. And you know why Hitler was a fucking madman? It's kind of what we were talking about earlier. Yes, his father. His father abused him, abused his mother, abused his brother. His father was a fucking monster. Therapists at the end of the war did a psych evaluation on what they thought Hitler was all about. And they said his hatred of the Jews was basically transferred hatred from his father. So you clone Hitler and he pops up and he doesn't have any of that. He's raised by the fucking nice family in the world. Do you think he would get a fair shot? Do you think little cloned Adolf Hitler, if we knew who he was, do you think he could have a fair shot at a real life? Or do you think somebody would kill him? I think they would. I think they would kill him. Um, Right. Sober says, imagine if we cloned Hitler and raised him into a good person. It would be bizarre as fuck. It would be bizarre as fuck. Um, Bukaki says the conspiracy shit is so dumb. You don't think they could get photos of a lookalike or something if they really wanted you to think Bin Laden was dead? I don't know, Bukaki. All I'm saying to you about this is that why don't we have a single photograph? I mean, this is a guy who killed 3,000 Americans who basically created the worst terrorist attack in the history of the country, in the world, one of the worst in the history of the world. Um, you'd think when we killed them, we would have a little bit of closure on the part of the American government. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you you, you can't get a fucking photograph of the man. It's a little weird. You don't think that's weird, Bukaki? Um, I think the world would go out of their way to be nice to him since they would be terrified of him becoming the first Hitler. He would have a Twitter account. He would have Instagram. Maybe he would become like a teen idol. Although... Hitler was not a good looking guy. Hitler had one testicle. He was, was not he born with it. Or? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What did he, I don't even know what Hitler looked like. That much. You don't know what Hitler looked like. I, I know what he looked like, but I don't study. I didn't study his face. I don't it's just a very face. pasty dude with the mustache. There was nothing about him that represented this great Aryan race that he talks about being the ubermensch, the the superman. Well, maybe if he had a better fucking haircut and no mustache, maybe he'd look better. Also... He needs if, a makeover. Yeah. If Hitler Clone got, Hitler, if Hitler was, yeah. If Hitler got a makeover, and also if he didn't have the stress of having a horrible fucking father, maybe he'd look better. He probably would. He probably would. Um, why do you need a picture to put in a scrapbook for of dead Bin Laden? I don't need a picture to put in a scrapbook. I would just like to know if it's true. And I'm not prone to conspiracy theories. I'm just saying it's a little weird. We haven't seen the goddamn body of Hitler. We haven't seen the body of Bin Laden. Come on. This is a little weird. It's a little fucking weird. Come on now. Jesus Christ. Um, Hitler was a vegetarian, says Cot. Could be. I don't know. Sounds right. You really don't want photos of them because it helps them become a murderer. Yeah, but okay, you know what, Frosty? Maybe that's true, but you know what they should have done then? They should have brought, you know, Fox News, CNN, the New York Times, Washington Post, whatever, into a room and said, look, you cannot publish these pictures of bin Laden, but we're going to show you this so you can assure your readers that this is a real thing and you've seen them. I agree. You probably don't want to release them. Because he'd become a martyr to his people. But it would be nice to kind of put the fucking, at least kind of show him to some reputable journalists so the journalists can assure the American public that, yeah, they did get the guy. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. If you had lost someone in 9-11, would you want a picture of the guy everywhere? Yeah, I'd want to know we killed the motherfucker. I would want to know we killed the motherfucker. That's exactly right. Look, Gaddafi, yeah, well, Eddie says they should have paraded him around like Weekend at Bernie's. Gaddafi, when they got Gaddafi, they paraded his corpse out in the street. Running Wild says, Wynn says, I believe the devil is real. You can't tell me you like Twisted Metal and you know there is true darkness. Uh-huh. I don't believe in the devil um, at all. And uh, I also don't believe uh, that there is true darkness. I think people are just scared, lonely, uh 
terrified creatures that are doing they're 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 emotionally drowning 95 percent of the time and if you've ever seen like a drowning rat also i'm sure darkness is subjective subjective activity. that's true too the drowning rat will kill other rats just to stay alive so i, I think that's how people are um that's how people are um what's wrong what happened oh you bit yourself oh that's not good calvin it's not that bad no um okay i'm gonna talk about something gross i don't care okay would you like to hear the latest craze for curing coronavirus this is really bad this is really bad okay knowing jaffe if you saw a picture of bin laden he'd say it's fake fuck you delta gamer you motherfucker i would not I would want to question it. There is a fake picture of Bin Laden out there with the bullet hole in his fucking head. But, you know, I don't need to see it. Show the fucking journalist. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Listen to me. Listen to me. Um, there's a woman in England who freezes her boyfriend's uh, sperm. And she mixes it with berries and bananas and she drinks it. Um, I mean, protein, I guess. And she says this prevents her from getting coronavirus. Now, I don't think that's how that works. Now, a lot of people haven't gotten coronavirus. Uh, and a lot of people are not drinking sperm. So the point is on this. People are fucking crazy and they will believe any goddamn thing under the sun. If you read the interview with this woman, she is convinced. No, it's sperm in general. She says, if you don't have a significant other, you can have your male friends provide sperm for you and you can drink it with berries and whatever. And that will allow you to cure COVID. Right? So it doesn't have to be from her. It's not like her boyfriend has magical sperm. Any sperm will do, she says. Any sperm will do. People will believe any goddamn thing you tell them. It's the craziest fucking thing in the world. Now, would you drink your own? Now, look, listen, if doctors said, if doctors said that sperm would cure coronavirus, um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's great 616 if doctors said this will cure coronavirus yeah i guess you'd have the whole fucking world drinking the sperm you would have a huge uptick in sperm donors um let minors drink it though. i hope not i hope not um do you know how much money you can make as a sperm donor per month you can make a thousand dollars. Why isn't everybody? Because you got to get you got to get picked. Oh. You got to get picked. You got to fill out a huge fucking form, and you got to get picked. And it's a, it's it's a it's a bunch of fucking hurdles to jump. Um. Right now, the CDC is saying kids should go back to school. No. Um. No, I'm not sending. I don't know. I don't know. Listen to me, Joe. Listen to me. Um, CDC is basically hospitals have no longer been able to send their data to the CDC. Trump is controlling the CDC now. Trump is trying to get them to say everything is safe. He wants to win his election and he's willing to murder our children to do it. In my opinion. Um, The fact that Trump says we should delay the election until it's safe to vote. The fact that Trump says I'm going to cancel my rallies because of COVID. But he wants the fact that his own kid is not going back to school um, because their school says it's not safe. Um, So, yeah, no, sorry, I don't buy it. So, fuck off Trump. 
Edward says, I'm glad my dad retired this year. He was a teacher in public schools and that they're going to reopen. They would, I mean, there, there's no way I would send my kids. Of course they're not. They're doing it now. They're definitely not going to do it when they're in school. I saw. People, the bullies probably cough on people on purpose. That's exactly right. It's exactly, yeah, you think kids are going to fucking social distance? I saw the saddest, sass slash sweetest thing. Um, when I was taking my walk the other night, now Calvin, you're not going to get why this is sad or sweet, but Great. okay. But I was walking up by the baseball fields and there's a, a park next to them, like swings and stuff. And there were these kids up there, um, who were like 17, 16 years old. And it was like a couple, it was like three guys, three girls, and they, they weren't making out and stuff, but they were, you know, they were clearly flirting and hanging on each other and stuff. And it was very normal it was very normal healthy okay, that's cringe i i know hang on it was very normal healthy teenage behavior and it was so sad because i'm watching it and going you guys i didn't say anything to him but i'm like you guys really shouldn't be doing this it's not healthy you guys could get sick you can get your family sick you can get your your uh uh relatives sick. i mean it's a bad thing but at the same time we're asking these kids to delay these formative years and experiences. Yeah, um, if COVID lasts, like, my whole high school uh, experience, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Yeah, I'm going to be pissed, too. Your sister next year is her senior year of high school. And she's probably going to, at least, she's going to spend the first half of it at home. Um, to be fair, she doesn't really care about the high school. I know she doesn't. I know, that's true. Jaffe is so pretentious, even with his kids. Ugh, you probably won't wouldn't get it. He wouldn't get it because he's a kid, because he's 14. It's only when you look back and you go, oh, that's such a teenage kid thing to do, that you appreciate the loss that these kids are going to actually have to deal with when they're older, you old so-and-so fuck Bukaki. Um... Eddie says, I... No, Dell says, I'm just wondering why there weren't this many people upset about the flu last year. Because the flu last year in four months didn't kill 150,000 people. Because the flu has a shot you can take to prevent from getting it for a lot of people. Because the flu, after you get it and you get it out of your system because it's basically curable or your body can fight it off and you won't die, even if you survive corona... Over 70% of people who have it are showing permanent lung damage, permanent cognitive damage, and permanent heart damage. So I'm su surprised that you would ask such a stupid question. Is that a sufficient answer? The fact that you're still thinking this is the same thing as the flu is terrifyingly uneducated, sir. Um, and I don't mean that disrespectfully, but I just don't understand how your head's in the sand, uh, like that, uh, Dell the gamer. How's that work? Jaffe, what do you think about the notion of years of life loss being so small? The average age of death matches the average age of death normally. Um, well, again, um, what I would say is that, sorry, I'm re, what I would, okay, let me be clear on this, or let me be clear what you're saying. What you're saying is the average age of death is 81 years old, and the average person dies of COVID is, is 81 is what you're saying. I would check those stats. I don't know if they're accurate. I do know that the majority of people that die of COVID are older, like above 65 years old, maybe even above 70 years old. But the amount of damage that this is doing to people of all ages um, is absolutely uh, undeniable. So even though you might live if you have COVID, you're going to suffer a lifetime of malady because you've had this disease. At least that's what I understand. Um, the funny thing is the funny thing about COVID and people's response to this disease 
Uh, you go over and you pull up on the back knob. Um, young people are going on ventilators, says Panda. My mom works in the hospital and she sees it firsthand. No, there are definitely people young who are getting it and dying as well. But on on the overall, um, it's it's older people who get it and die from it. That's absolutely true. Um, okay, Robert says, I think people are speaking with too much authority about the long-term effects. We don't know what the effects will be. Yes, you're absolutely right, Robert. Right now, we don't know, okay? Um, all we know is what doctors are telling us that they are discovering every day that they discover it. So here's, here's, the, here's the real question, right? Because everybody will admit, if you're being honest with it, you, you, we don't know yet. It's too new. We absolutely don't know. Um, but let's assume for the moment that the doctors are like, why would, you know, the, the idea that it's a hoax, that it's not worth paying attention to, that people are lying about this, um, follow that thread to a conclusion. To what end? Why I I even though I don't agree with it, I understand why somebody would say the Democrats are lying about it because they want Trump out of office and they figure that this is a great way to get him out of office. Okay, fine. I don't agree with that, but I mean I agree they want him out of office. I want him out of office, but let's assume they're that devious, right? But you've got the entire world responding to this in the same way. You have got multi-billion dollar corporations that are u- losing hundreds of millions of dollars because they are what? They're morons and they just don't understand or because they actually think this shit's serious. So if this is a hoax, it's a hoax that the entire world is bought into and it's a hoax that a lot of these companies that are run by right-wing Republican people in terms of at the finance end are willing to give up hundreds of millions of dollars in profits in order to pretend a disease is real that isn't. So I would just assume we listen to the fucking scientists and doctors who have dedicated their lives to this shit instead of sitting around acting like we suddenly know because we fucking read some fucking article on Facebook or watched a video on YouTube. Um, yes, they, yeah, Edward, yes, they're crashing the economy to make Trump look bad. That's what some people believe. It's, it's, it's a ridiculous concept. Um, a lot of people can't stand Trump, but you think the NBA is going to gut their season? You think Comic-Con is going to totally destroy? San Diego just lost over $100 million in profit that they're used to every, every summer because COVID shut down Comic-Con. You think San Diego, which is primarily more of a conservative town, is going to do that to get Trump out of office? People just don't think this shit through. Um, they probably thought the bad PR would outweigh any profit they would gain. And that's the sad truth. I don't think so. You're not talking about, uh, you know, a game that was, these guys have canceled. They're they're having to cancel multiple seasons, multiple seasons. Um, Calvin looks bored. Calvin, are you Uh, bored? What? I think Calvin wasn't bored. I think he was spacing. And if Cal, I should have Calvin in here for every stream. And if he gets bored, it means the audience is bored. So we have to move on to a new topic. I am out of topic. So it is free chat. You can call to the discord. You can ask us questions, whatever you want to talk about for a little bit. We'll talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about, but you gotta, you gotta make it interesting. You gotta make it interesting. Begin. Let's see what the first question that comes in Calvin. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, this one's going to be good. I can feel it. Somebody's typing right now. Let Calvin pick a topic. He doesn't have any topics. Don't fuck with him. Hey, man, life is fucked, says running. Why is it fucked? PS5 shit. You got to give me something more than that. What do you want to know about PS5 shit? I have no idea how long the virus will continue. I heard today that the, uh, I think it was the CDC said that, um, it would be 2021 Christmas time. We would get the uh, the the vaccine. What's that? Someone was in the channel for like two seconds. Oh, has Calvin played Twisted Metal? When Calvin was very little, he sat on my lap and played Twisted Metal 2012 two years before it came out. Other than that, 
I don't think so. And you probably don't remember that, do you? No. I have a picture of you doing that, but yeah. I was there for like the weird like movie thing. Yeah, he almost was in the Sweet Tooth movie, um, but he chose not to be. Because I was playing fucking Minecraft or some shit. You were like, do you want to be in this character? I was like, okay. And then I just fucking was like, I'm just kidding. I'm going to play fucking Minecraft. This was all planned to start a recession. I mean, at one point, they literally said, stay inside. There are killer hornets. Dude, you're drinking the Kool-Aid, man. I'm sorry, but you're drinking the Kool-Aid. Do you know how many people have lost so much money from this? Do you know, you, 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 you think, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to convince you, man. I'm just not, I'm not going to convince you that, that, that is, if you follow that to its conclusion, you would have to be delusional and not just delusional one guy, you would have to be delusional. There would have to be a worldwide number of people that are delusional and willing to crash the economy, um, to start a recession the world over. Come on, man. Come on, man. Um, yeah, Herman Cain claimed it was a hoax. There's a tweet literally from Herman Cain from a couple of weeks ago where he says it was a hoax. Man died today. Come on now. Calvin's thoughts on MCR canceled final album, The Paper Kingdom. It was a concept album about a support group for parents who lost their kids. Gerard Way said it was so dark he had to stop writing it. Did you know about this? Yeah. Oh, um, that's cool. I think that would have been really cool, but also, um, I think he's something like when he was doing the Black Parade, um, he was whenever he was on stage performing, he would all, he would like act as if he was the patient dying from cancer, which, okay, which definitely, I guess, was not good for his mental health because he was acting like that every day. He was, the, you know, got very into character. He was a very smart guy. Uh. You know? Did they ever release any music from it? Like any demos or anything? I think there's like one thing. Up, but I don't know. Cool. Calvin style looks like he belongs 2006 MCR. Fuck yeah. That's the goal. Um, do you think at some point we have to just pull the trigger and reopen? Um, you know, I don't know because we tried that, Robert, in a bunch of states. And a bunch of states have spiked like a motherfucker. So... You know, I mean, look, we'll see what happens in Georgia. I mean, literally right now, Georgia, Florida, um, California, um, all the states that, that tried to reopen. I wish we could be like New Zealand. And other countries as well that tried to reopen have had to close back up. So, I mean, ultimately, really what we need to do is we need to start giving people a universal base income until this passes. We were not prepared for this. Um and what are we going to do? People are going to, you know, people, I think tomorrow is when unemployment runs out for a large percentage of people. Um, you know, 32% of people uh, missed their uh, rent and mortgage payments last month. I mean, shit's going to go really bad. Jaffe, I know who are. You know who are. Okay, good. Yes, I know who I am too. Thank you, my hair. Wow. You're watching the stream. Yeah. Um, so unemployment doesn't run out, but the federal boost to unemployment will be gone. Okay, so you're still getting unemployment, but you're it's $600 less is my understanding. Yes, Calvin has read some of Gerard's comics. I've read... Killjoys. Um, the Killjoy, the, the, I don't know if there's multiple things because I can't find anything, but I've read the first Killjoys comic. It was pretty good. Yeah. But I'm not very... I'm not much of a reader... People need to get it through their head that 2020 is canceled, says Chad. Yeah. All right, we're going to bring in Draft to the chat. Let's see if we can make this work. Hang on. Draft. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ka-ching. Draft. Nope. Are you there? Yo, can you hear me? I can hear you. What's going on, man? Hey, man. What's up, Cal? Hi. Yeah, I just want to say I'm, I'm having some actually issues in my own house. Uh, people like my own mother are having issues with uh, like doctor's appointments or officer offering uh, you know, over the phone appointments, and she's refusing them because she's so used to visiting doctors in person and stuff like that. And I'm having trouble convincing her that that's the more pertinent thing to do is to actually do it over the phone. What? It, and it's just, 
what does she need? I mean, I don't want to get personal, but what, is she in serious medical trouble or is it just a checkup? Well, she has epilepsy, diabetes, all stuff. It's not uncommon for her to be in the hospital. Well, when she called the doctor, does the doctor tell her to come in or does the doctor say do it over Zoom? Well, they offer her the opportunity to do it over the phone and she chooses not to because she feels more comfortable doing it in person. And I'm in a constant battle back and forth to tell her, you know, don't go to where a Petri dish of, you know, COVID might be. Yeah, I, I, I actually had to go to a, a real life doctor a couple of months, like last month, uh, because I hadn't seen her yet. And for insurance reasons, you have to see her. And I was terribly nervous about going, but I was surprised. I mean, they only let one patient in at a time. It's super clean. It's super sterile. Um, it, it wasn't a problem. I don't know if that's the same kind of quality doctor that your mom would go to, but... I mean, I, I got I, all I can say draft is I got nothing for you because, you know, parents are stubborn and they don't want to listen to their kids and they're and they're set in their ways. And, you know, other than just saying to her, hey, mom, I'm really worried about you. And it scares me when you're talking about this, given that there's an option. Could you at least try it? I mean, have you been that straightforward with her? I've been extremely straightforward. That's the exact words I've used, basically. And I did just met with, uh, you know, I'll be fine and things like that. And I'm like, you know, why chance it? Is, I, is I she at home? Is she? Do you live with her? I don't live with her, but I live close to her. And I, I take care of her. And I'm always, you know, near her and stuff like that. And she's actually been tested for the COVID antibodies. And she's came up clean. But my argument is, you know, why not stay clean? Why not keep going to a place full of sick people, you know, for lack of a better term, and, and attempting to maybe catch this virus? Why not stay home where you know you're safe? And I'm just met with, you know, straight argument every single time. And it's just driving me crazy. And I just, I, I don't know what to think. Um, I, I don't know if this helps, but I... Uh, done a lot of over the phone doctor's appointments and they're so much easier so you can tell her that they're like literally so easy like yeah but it sounds so like how, how yeah I mean it, sound, it sounds like she's just not comfortable with it I mean I yeah I, I mean it, it's your mom I don't know what to tell you I, I can tell you like with Calvin with me I've had doctor's appointments over the phone and it's been great but you know it, I, it sucks for you man I feel for you but parents are stubborn 60 and but you know it's not like she's a luddite she knows how to use her phone and whatnot but it just she makes it like you know oh it's so complicated i just can't use all this you know i can't video conference and blah blah blah. i'm like it's so easy and then i'm always met with you know uh some type of argument or something like that to the point where it's she's going to every type of phrologist that's known in a book and it's yeah. just you know driving me crazy where I'm like, you know, just stay the fuck home, man. Yeah. It's, it's the safest bet right now. I hear you. I hear you. I, I'm, I'm sorry you're going through it, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you other than, you know, maybe have... Let me ask you this. What does the doctor say? Maybe the doctor could call her and say, look, let's do this over the phone. They're more than happy to say, come on in. They, they don't really offer any resistance as far oh, as... Oh, well, then, yeah, it's going to have to be what it is. I mean, she's an adult. What are you going to do? I, it sucks. I, I feel for you, man. I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you. If you want to look, if you want to have her call me, I'll yell at her. <laughs> I don't have any insight to offer. It's just something because I've been going back and forth. Like, yo, just stay Got it. home. I'm with you. Need to do is stay home. That's what it's I would. The only advice they're offering is stay home, and, and yeah. she just refuses because she's so used to this regimen of gotcha. going to the doctors and. Yep. It's just it's it's something that's really been driving me crazy. Well, I'm sorry you're going through it, that's man. It. It. All right, thanks for the call draft. Good luck with that. Let us know what happens. Take care. All right, man. You too. Yeah, it sucks. Parents are parents are a pain in the ass. Am I right, Cal? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, um Jaffe, can I send a video about what interesting thing they did in South Korea? No. No. Oh, it's under a minute. Eh, if it's under a minute, sure. 
Jaffe, what do you think about people pretending that protests going on weren't a cause at all? Wait, let me do this again. Um, I think you would have to be a moron to assume that people who went out and protested did not contribute to the spread of the virus. Um, I do think what we don't know is because most of the people protesting were wearing masks and they do say that that helps meaningfully limit people's exposure, um, that it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But sure, I think it's a, a correct assumption that that contributed. I think most people would tell you that it was worth it to them and it was a noble thing that they did and that they are doing. Um, and I think, look, here, here's what I'll tell you. Um, the people that are protesting for racial tolerance and police brutality, I support. The people that are protesting and saying, um, I need to work, I can't feed my family with this lockdown, um, I support. The people that aren't wearing masks are fucking morons. The people that are... Like, I need a fucking haircut. Right, the people that are protesting because they can't get a haircut or go to a bar are fucking morons. But if you're out there protesting and wearing a mask and doing your best to wash your hands and social distance and you're protesting racial shit and you're protesting not being able to work, then you have my full support. But that's not the people that are bothering me. The people bothering me are the people who are not wearing masks. Um, I think it's a ridiculous concept that somebody would go through the day and not wear a fucking mask. So there you go. That's what I'll say to that. Hang on. Okay. I hate the mask. Yeah, they're not fun. What are you going to do? They're not that bad. Um, I feel like people won't stop talking about others not wearing masks. At least where I am, everyone has a mask on. Is there somewhere where nobody is not wearing them? Yeah. Every day I, I see people. I walks all the fucking time. Yeah. And there's like these fucking old ass people not wearing masks. And it's like, bruh, it's literally a piece of fabric. If you have to wear, if you have to wear pants, just put on a fucking mask. You know, it's not any different. I saw a bunch of kids the other day, a little older than Calvin hanging out. Um, and they were, you know, they weren't relatives. They didn't live together. They were hanging out, just having a good fucking time. And they weren't wearing masks. I see it all the fucking time. I'd say we have about here in San Diego, we have about probably 50, 50 is what I would say. If you go into a grocery store or a building, everyone's got to wear a mask. But I'm talking about sort of parking lots and being outside, walking on the sidewalks, things like that. Do you wipe your groceries down? Yeah, we do. We absolutely do. Um, or we leave them sitting out for a couple of days. If you're not, if you're gonna wear a mask and support tyranny. Um, Are you out of your mind? Oh, he's kidding. Oh, okay. I think I'm not gonna wear a mask. I'm a free American. Oh, you're joking. He's trolling. You're not good. okay if he's not kidding it's literally the same thing as having to wear like a shirt or like wear pants like you don't call that tyranny you know panda says is wearing a mask outside important if you get close to someone it's important whether you're inside or outside they we kicked off the stream by talking about how people six feet tall have a 50 percent chance higher chance of getting the disease because it doesn't just drop out of your mouth. It floats in the air. The aerosol floats in the air around that height because of how, quote, heavy it is. Um, this stuff flies through the fucking air. Um, yeah, so you need to wear a fucking mask when you're outside if you're around people. Um, draft, I get it. People are acting like it's infringing on their rights. It makes no sense. It's, it's so dumb. I wish those people would, would get to the bottom of what really bothers them. Maybe I, I don't understand it. Um, I don't wear it when I'm walking my dog because I stay an entire street away. Yeah, if you're staying away from people, you don't need a mask. Why would you wear a mask if you're not around anybody? Of course. Um, I don't understand people upset about business mask requirements. They're private property and they don't have to let you access. Agree. Thomas, that's the thing. You walk into someone's store, if you walk into a government building, okay, that's different. Um, but, you know, you walk into a fucking store, they can tell you whatever they want. It's private business. It's your right not to wear a cock-sucking mask. Well, 
Yeah, you don't have to wear a cock-sucking mask. I haven't seen That'd those. Be a weird mask. Be a weird mask, pal. But um, you absolutely do have to wear a mask if you are going into stores. I don't see why people don't just wear a mask, social distance, and then the shit can be over. Like in like you know, so then they don't have to fucking do that shit. Like yeah. if, if y'all just like follow the guidelines. Then it's gonna be over quicker, and yep. then you don't have to do all this shit. And there's it not may not be, a be over, but it'll not be over, less. But, and you can hang out with your friends and shit. And you don't have to wear a fucking mask because it, you know, I, you should take precautions still. But I mean, no, it's it, it's moronic. It's it's it's, pe- so dumb. it's childish. Well, Robert, I agree with you. I think Karen screaming in Walmart are a small percentage. It's not the Karen screaming in Walmart. It's people that are literally not wearing masks. They're not screaming about it. They're just not. They're just not doing it. Um, I've seen masks that have captions that are against wearing masks. People who are against masks are wearing them. That's fine. As long as they're wearing a mask, I don't give a fuck. Um, America has a terrible record for people getting the virus versus almost every other country. Yeah, we're, we're, we're a country Americans of a bunch of stupid. fucking morons. We're uneducated. We're arrogant. We're ignorant. We're proud of our ignorance. We're ashamed of our ignorance at the same time. So, so we're just like, yeah, I'm not gonna wear it. It's my fucking right. Blah 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 blah. Americans look so stupid um, to everybody else. Yeah, they do. Because we are. What? Well, yeah, we, we we have a total stupid country in a lot of ways. I work in a lab in Utah that tests for COVID. It's no joke. They make us wear masks, of course. Um, <laughs> America's number one. Yeah, well. Most of our deaths are in the highly populated areas that have a high population. That's not true. That's not true. Um, we, we, I mean, you're, you're right in the sense that New York has more deaths than Alabama, but Alabama and Georgia are going through the roof right now with uh, coronavirus and with deaths. It's a smaller, you know, number, but that's, a, it's a smaller population. It's, I mean, that, you know, there was a story that can, we can talk about something else in a minute, but uh, there's a story that came out today that um, the Trump administration is, is said to have said Democratic cities are the ones that are suffering from this. And because of that, we don't need to have a national response. And it was only after it started to cut into the red states that now they're starting to get worried about it. And the fact they weren't worried about it at a federal level, at a national level to begin with, is one of the reasons that we're in a bad situation because it spread like it did. Running wind, I don't know what the fuck you're writing. You just keep hitting these, what are you, what are you writing, man? So anyway, um, yeah, there is one case right now in, uh, in North Korea. That's true, it's absolutely true. All right, come on now. Come on now, what are we gonna talk about? What are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about something else. I don't wanna talk about this anymore. Uh, shut up, my hair was dyed black. You're such a troll. Um, do I think deaths are being overreported? I, I don't know. What, what what interests me more about your question is the question, right? Do I think do I think you can poke holes in all of this a little bit? Maybe it isn't exactly one hundred and fifty thousand dead. Maybe it's one hundred and twenty three thousand dead because almost twenty five thousand or over twenty five thousand were actually. Uh, there was something more prevalent that killed them, but they had COVID, so they called it a COVID death. Sure. But I mean, again, this idea that this is just a worldwide conspiracy is, is, is just so ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's a worldwide conspiracy. This isn't just in America. This is all over the world. This is, these are our enemies suffering from this. These are our allies suffering from this. There are people losing billions of dollars at a, tens of billions at a corporate level. And it's just like, I mean, unless you believe in a one world government and there's like six dudes in a mountaintop somewhere in like Switzerland that's running everything, can you imagine the level of coordination that would have to happen to make all of this be bullshit? Um, 
we may be saying data that isn't fact, but we we're not. But but the essence of the data is fact. Is is what I would say. So is it one hundred and fifty thousand or is it one hundred and forty two thousand? Yeah, we don't really know yet. We won't know. We're in the middle of it. You're 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 basically asking us to count the dead on the beaches of Normandy while we're still storming Normandy. We're going to get it wrong at first. We're in the middle of fighting. But that doesn't mean you can't look around D-Day and say, holy shit, we're getting the fuck kicked out of us. I think both of those things get to be true. Do you think Trump feels good that people are literally willing to die for him by not wearing masks? I think Trump is a fucking narcissistic moron. Um, headlines do address those things. In fact, Robert Robert says headlines don't address uh, more testing equals more... Um, cases they do there have actually been governors who have said we understand and this was reported we understand that you're going to have more cases with more testing but the cases in our states that have gone up are going up outside of that we're getting increases in our covid count that has nothing to do with the fact that we're testing more you're having the governors of some republican states or republican governors saying this so Right. Frosty says the rates are going up faster relative to the number of additional testing. Right. That's uh, Frosty's a writer. That's a much better way of saying it. But yes, I hope Trump doesn't make a peaceful transition of power difficult. I don't know. It's hard to know if he's trolling or if he's serious about it. Um, I have a friend who had health issues his whole life. Miracle, he has lived this long. He got COVID. He never showed symptoms and never passed it to his wife. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I mean, I, you know, I, I, you know, again, I'm inclined to trust scientists and doctors. I'm inclined to trust the World Health Organization, the CDC, my fucking personal doctor. If some people out there want to trust Tucker Carlson. And Donald Trump, who's never had any kind of medical training, who, d who doesn't even read, let alone read medical journals, sure, go ahead and trust him. But I I'm okay trusting the scientists. When did we get to a point in our human species evolution that we stop trusting fucking science? What the fuck is wrong with us? This is what they dedicate their lives. There's a fucking scientific method. Of course they get things wrong. That's what science does. They get it wrong and then they 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 prove it and they get that wrong and then it becomes fact until maybe they prove something else. That's the process of science. Um and yet, nah, we're not gonna trust it. I'd rather trust Laura Ingram, Rush Limbaugh. He knows. I'd rather trust trust the lady um uh, talking about demon sex she knows come on man come on man it's ridiculous No, Trump is definitely kicking around the rigged election thing. I mean, he says it all the time. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if the guy loses the election. Will it be uh, something that is, if he's just like, you know, he's also said, if I lose, I lose. It's no big deal. Maybe he'll surprise us all. Um, who knows? Yeah, the, the Postal Service is being dismantled. I mean, it's it's just, you know, I've never seen, I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Um, uh, it's ridiculous. Jaffe, what are the chances of another upset like with Hillary? Some polls are showing the same numbers that Hillary had. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, it, I've said before, if Trump wins fair and square, 
then he deserves to win. And it's it's another reason I would probably want to leave America. If America, look, I say this almost every stream because it keeps coming up. Um, you know, uh, if 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 you guys look at Donald Trump and you think he's your guy, um, and he's the one who will make the country what you want it to be. Um, then great. I mean, what do you want from me? I think he's a fucking joke. I think he's a terrible president. I think he's disrespectful to the American culture. I think he's disrespectful to, uh, uh, what we stand for as Americans. I think he's a bully. I think he's done a lot of damage to the country, but if, 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 if more Americans want him in office, then we get what we deserve if he wins fair and square. If you can really say you feel comfortable going into um, a booth and voting for Donald Trump after all this, um, well, good for you. Jaffe, why don't the homeless get arrested from not social distancing, but house party guests or business owners when they open their businesses do? Um, I don't know. Probably because the homeless people have nowhere to go and they're homeless. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, I, I, you know, because if you have a business or a house, you should fucking know better. Frankly, if you really want my answer, my answer would be if you're on the fucking street, you deserve a little fucking compassion. And most people don't get around homeless people. But by the very nature of them being homeless, people who are not homeless social distance from them. But if you have the the financial wherewithal to have a house party or you own a business and you're fucking a moron and you're opening your business or you're opening your house party, you fucking deserve it. Um... Good to see you, Kat. Oh, I, I saw the comments. Thanks, Rob, for getting rid of them. The uh, just anti-Semitic stuff. Can you believe that? That's so stupid. Um, my friends and I never talked politics as teens, says Six. I'd like to know if Calvin has had arguments at school or lost friends over political views. Mm-hmm. Yes? Oh, yeah, you have, haven't you? <clears throat> yeah, hon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. There's a fucking peanut in my braces. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. There was this girl. Can I say her name? No, don't say her name. All right, I'm gonna call her fucking. I'm gonna call her Dasani because there's this Dasani water bottle here. Um. So basically, um, I was friends with her in like seventh grade, and I guess she was like, in seventh grade she was very like open minded and shit, um, right? And then like one day, um. I don't even know. It's like she went to like conversion therapy for like a day or some shit. She got real religious, right? She got like extremely conservative and extremely religious over like the span of like a, a like a day, for some reason. And um, I was, I think I, I was like, oh yeah, I'm bi or something. And she's like, well, like Jesus can change that. And it's like, shut up. What? I didn't ask. Um, and then so I just kind of stopped hanging out with her because she was like annoying and I didn't like her. Um, I um, one day she came to me, and I guess she's not con- like homophobic or something anymore. I, d- I don't fucking know, but she still is a Trump supporter. I don't I don't like her. Um, I'm not friends with her, and I do not like her. And that is, yeah. Yeah, we argued politics in high school. I mean, I I've always been politically engaged. My parents were. My brother certainly was and is. So, yeah. Running when? What are you typing? Jesus Christ, man. I think he's drunk, right? He might be drunk. I don't know. Okay, well, don't. It's annoying. Hail to the king, baby. Why don't you call? I would love one of these anti-Semitic cowards to actually call me on the Discord. I'll have a conversation with you. We don't practice religion. Um, Wow, he's sick. I can't say your name. Um... We're not religious. I mean, you're atheist, right? Mm -hmm. I'm agnostic atheist. Um, What's Sarah? I don't know what she is. I think agnostic atheist. Agnostic atheist, yeah. Um, 
All right, see you, Robert. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Yeah, hell yeah, hell of the king won't call because you're a fucking coward. Um, I've I've always been fascinated by maybe because I was raised Jewish. I've always been fascinated by the the anti-Semitic ignorance um, that Jews are rich and Jews control the world and all this stuff. Um, I can assure you, I don't control the world. My family didn't control the world. Uh, so um, some pretty good stereotypes though like damn uh, like, yeah, bro, yeah that's like a compliment i know but you know no it's uh it's 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 absolutely crazy um but anyway yeah get on the voice chat call me man let's have a conversation talk to me about why you really think that is and don't, and, and, and the truth of it is is it's probably because your brother or your father raised you to be a racist and anti-semite or you're probably just trolling, but regardless of that, though, people, yeah, you know, you think you'd think as a society we would have outgrown that shit, but it's just getting worse. Anti-Semitism, racism, homophobia, bunch of fucking morons, man. Um, bunch of fucking morons. I don't get it. See, Kari Sane left six one six. The wrestling. I liked Kari Sane. She walked away. She walked away to go back to Japan. Spend time with her husband. I'll tell you what. What do you think of that, Calvin? Mm-hmm. He don't want. He don't watch the wrestling. I can't get him into wrestling. It's not good. It is good. Okay. It is good. I don't like fighting. Um, it's fun fighting. It's fake fighting. I don't care. I don't like it. Um, Dell says people have houses and businesses. Live check to check. They can't afford this. I agree. Either open the country completely or pay a check every two weeks. I agree. Pay a check every two weeks. I agree. We need to, we need to be doing that. We need to take the half a trillion dollars that we paid to a bunch of these businesses. And every month we need to pay people until this gets worked out. We absolutely do. Um, we have to take care of people during this. Other countries are doing it. We're not. And blame the fucking Republicans, man. The Republicans say, oh, well, if we pay people, they won't want to go to work. It's like, yeah, they shouldn't have to go to work right now. There's a fucking pandemic going on. They shouldn't have to go to work unless they're essential workers. Fucking Republicans, all they want is their fucking rich, fat cat friends to keep getting richer. Um, it's crazy. All right. Well, fellas, that's it for tonight. I think I might stream some games over on Twitch. Stay tuned to my Twitter account if I decide. I'm going to go eat a waffle like Calvin had. Um, take the chair. Um, and uh, and after that, though, if I if I'm still feeling it, uh, I'll tweet out on Twitch. I'm going to. You know what I've been playing? I've been playing uh, Quake, the original Quake. Um, I've been playing that. And uh, so I might play that tonight on stream. If not, I'll see you guys on a future stream. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, Appreciate your time. Appreciate your comments. Appreciate your super chats. And uh, I will see you guys uh, very soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Rob.